This guy makes clothes that grow with you. Hi, Naz Daily. I'm Ryan. See, Ryan noticed a big problem with clothes. Not just any clothes. Kids' clothes. See, kids grow fast. And that means they need new clothes every few months. Because their old clothes don't fit. So this is why Ryan decided to start Petit Plea. Clothes that grow with kids. These pants will grow just like kids grow. This baby can wear the same clothes until they're four. And these clothes until they're nine. One piece of clothing fits through seven sizes. They're built out of one piece of material that's folded so it can get big or small just like in origami. And the best part is these clothes are made from recycled plastic bottles. They don't just help growing kids, they help grow a better future for the planet. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This candy is weird. It's 95% water, it's for old people, and it saves lives. How? Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Lewis. When Lewis's grandmother got dementia, he noticed a big problem. She wasn't drinking enough water. And it turns out, this is actually a big problem for older people. One study showed that 50% of old people die from being thirsty. That's why Lewis created Jelly Drops. Lewis made candy for grandparents. These candies are 95% water. Jelly Drops help give people extra water. Jelly Drops are fun and colorful so that someone with dementia or Alzheimer's will be excited to eat them. Lewis has now made over 4 million candies for thousands of people who need help drinking water. I'm glad that people like Louis are making sure that our grandparents don't miss out on one of the most important things in life. Water. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. We found one of the youngest billionaires in the world. We found him in Rayagada, India. This is Ritesh. He is 27 years old. So how did he become a billionaire? Well, he took the biggest risk of his life. He went to an empty hotel, took over it, changed the beds, the rooms, the service, and named it Oyo Hotel. And that upgrade made the hotel go from empty to full. At age 22, he had 500 hotels. At age 24, he raised $1 billion. And at age 26, he had over 43,000 hotels and built the second largest hotel chain in the world. This is luck, hard work, and determination at the same time. When you don't let your age, background, or ethnicity get in the way, you will achieve greatness. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Italy, I found a guy who can solve hundreds of Rubik's Cube and make art. Hi, Nas Daily. My name is Giovanni. Giovanni learned to solve a Rubik's Cube when he was just 15 years old. Since then, he fell in love with the puzzle and decided to see how fast he could solve one. But then he got bored. That's why he decided to mix hundreds of cubes and connect them together to make portraits like this. He draws the portraits on his computer. Then he twists all the Rubik's Cube and finally puts them on a huge frame. When his pictures went on social media, they instantly became a hit. Today, getting a Rubik's Cube portrait from Giovanni will cost you thousands of dollars. This guy's story is proof you can make a living from even a crazy passion like solving a Rubik's Cube. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In the US, I found two people who made a microscope for only one dollar. Hi, I'm Jim. Hi, I'm Manu. Manu and Jim saw that poor countries have a lot of tiny monsters hidden in their water which can make people sick. And most of these monsters can only be seen by a microscope that costs $2,000. So they made a microscope which is 1,000 times cheaper because it's made of paper. You take this paper, fold it like an origami, assemble it, and just like that, you have a microscope that allows you to see objects 140 to 1,000 times bigger than they actually are. It's so durable that it can survive physical and water damage. With this price, they're able to make 500,000 microscopes and send them all around the world. This piece of paper deserves all the attention. 
because it can help thousands of doctors inspire millions of kids and even save lives. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In San Francisco, USA, we found a guy who gave cell phones to trees. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Topher White. Topher was an engineer who was traveling in the forest one day when he saw a group of men chopping off trees. They're called illegal loggers, and they chop off rare trees to sell their wood on the black market. But when he went to alert the police, they said they already knew about these loggers and had a tough time catching them. Because the forest is so loud, they could never hear them chopping down trees. So he thought, why not build a device that'll let the trees call for help like a cell phone? Him and his team, Rainforest Connections, started taking old phones and tweaked them so they would automatically alert the police whenever there were chainsaw sounds. He would put these phones on top of trees in weatherproof boxes. The forests can't protect themselves. But at least now, thanks to Topher's cell phones, they can just call us up whenever they need our help. That's one minute. See you tomorrow.